So what if I told you that there are some species of fish that are more related to humans than they are to other fish? Well, it's true, and the spotted gar is one of them. Yes, garfish are more related to humans genetically than they are to other species of fish, such as a largemouth bass or a speckled trout. So what does this mean? Well, if humans and garfish are closely related, we can use garfish as medical models to study human medicine. So why does this matter? Well, garfish basically connect humans to the coast. So it's no secret that garfish are very abundant in Louisiana waterways, such as our bayous and marshes. Um, this makes them even more convenient to use as medical models. So it is true that to use gars in science, all we have to do is take a boat out on the bayou and collect garfish. But using wild part gar in science is not the best idea because we can't control the environment in which they are raised. Um, but we can't control the environment of gars that are raised in captivity. What's even better is that we know we can spawn captive spotted gars based on research that has been done at Nichols. Um, we also know uh, recently that uh, we can spawn wild gar, we can spawn captive gar in the winter because wild gar typically spawn in the spring. Um, so basically, we don't even have to wait till the spring to get viable embryos to use for scientific research. But the issue is that we don't know if spring spawn spotted gar and winter spawn spotted gar produce offspring of the same quality. So that is what I will attempt to investigate with my thesis. So I am currently in the process of collecting spotted gars from various Louisiana bayous. Um, I will be spawning those fish in the winter, and then I will take the measurements of their eggs, eggs, larvae, and juveniles. I will then collect a new group in the spring. I will spawn those using the same procedures done in the winter. So why do we care about their growth? Well, we don't just want to be able to spawn these fish twice per year. We want them to produce healthy babies that we can use as medical models. So coastal Louisiana is basically giving us an abundant natural resource that we can use as medical models in human research, literally connecting us to the coast. Who knows, spotted bar may be the future of medical breakthroughs.